Hey guys! So, for this glitch um, showcase, I'm gonna showcase how to get missing now. And it's not actually a ditto glitch, although you can actually do it by ditto glitch with certain stats. But this is the easiest way. So, this is one of the most famous glitches in, um, well, in video game history, really. Um, and it all involves talking to this old man, and it basically um, changes your name, and when you fly to a certain place, you can encounter some very weird Pokemon. So now he's going to show us a tutorial of how to catch a Pokemon. And it's always a Weedle that he tries to catch. Just move that up a little bit. Um, so yeah, we just watched the tutorial on how to catch Pokemon. And where my name used to be, it now says Old Man. And this is important because it overwrites your name to specific tiles on Cinnabar Island. So essentially, um, I think many people know how to do this glitch, but if you don't, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I already have a missing no. And it has a very glitchy sprite, as, a uh, well, many glitch Pokemon do. So yeah, um, I'll get more into the effects of missing no as well, a little bit later on. So first we need to fly to Cinnabar Island. And now we need to go towards the coast, and you will need to surf for this glitch as well. So make sure that um, you've got through the game to the part where you get surf. I can't remember what gym badge it is, but uh, yeah, it's not really that hard to get to that point. Oh, and you also need to unlock Cinnabar Island anyway, so by this point you should have surf. Just make sure that you've got it on a Pokemon, I guess. Uh, so you want to just surf up and down the coast, and we've got a Pokemon encounter. Oh, look at that, we've got a glitchy Professor Oak. So, basically, um, the characters of your name uh, kind of determine who you'll run into, and because one of my, uh, one of the characters in my name is a MN symbol, it means that um, I can run into a very glitchy Professor Oak with very weird Pokemon. And you can actually capture some of these Pokemon that he's got, but you have to uh, do very weird um, exploits with um, trading Pokemon between generations, and I'm not really going to get into all of that, but yeah. So yeah, let's just try and get through it. And you can see this is Missing Nose Back Sprite, but uh, it also changes as well. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but it does. So yeah. So I guess we're going to have to <coughs> defeat uh, Professor Oak now. I hope that it just doesn't do Professor Oak every time, because I think this is like quite a rare thing to see, but I don't know. Because you get some rare encounters and you get more common ones. And... Um, with every single name except for the pre-chosen names, you get an, an invisible end name space that you have no control over. It's just basically telling the game that this is where the, the name ends. And that has a hex value of 15, I think. And that corresponds with missing those hex number. So when you surf along the coast, you'll get some very weird Pokemon, but you'll also always get missing now. Um, it just depends basically on what name yours is. So mine says James PKMN, and the MN symbol is equivalent to a glitchy Professor Oak. So yeah. 
He's gonna send out some weird glitchy Pokemon. It's a Nidorina, I think? I don't know. Uh, somewhere in the Nidoran line, anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll just battle him. So you can get very weird kind of um, Pokemon that pop up just because you've got weird characters in your name. And um, I think the odd numbered letters um, mean the Pokemon and the even number letters are the levels of the Pokemon. And he also has a missing though. So we'll get to see what that does. Level 32. And that's missing no sprite, and it's very famous. So yeah, that was kind of the big famous glitch, if you like, uh, for this generation of Pokemon. But there's tons more glitches as well. PKMNN. You can actually obtain this, but I've forgotten how. I think um, it's also exploits with um, trading Pokemon between games and having um, a certain glitch Pokemon that... Uh, functions as the cancel button, so basically illegal Pokemon that you're not supposed to trade, you can actually trade it because it won't recognize them, because it just leaves it blank basically. And as you can see the glitch Pokemon themselves have very weird cries as well. And they also leave ends on the screen for whatever reason. And now this is like his one... Valid Pokemon, Flareon. I think this Professor Oak fight was programmed into the game, but they decided to scrap it. So it would have been like quite a hard battle after um, the champion, but they decided not to use it. Let's see what this is. It's another hybrid with very glitchy text. But yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to encounter Missing now, because it's not really all that rare to encounter. I just don't really want to do Professor Oak again. I might just reset if I get Professor Oak again, honestly. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep surfing along. And this has got no wild Pokemon data, so that's why Pokemon from the last route you've been on show up there. And there we go, we got a missing now. And as you can see, it's over level 100. And our back sprite has changed for whatever reason. But yeah. So let's catch it. Um, I'll use a master ball just because it's guaranteed to catch, but you can use any ball to catch it. And it doesn't really have any adverse effects unless you really care about your Hall of Fame data because that will get corrupted. But I find it kind of funny. Um, so yeah. So we just caught that, so um, we could have a look at the effect of having a level 132 Pokemon, but essentially if it levels up, it just levels up to 100. I'm pretty sure anyway. Because it's just weird experience points, I guess. Um, let's deposit something. What should we deposit? Um, yeah, we'll get rid of Nido. No, actually. Oh, I can't decide now. Uh, now we need Zapdos. Uh, get rid of that missing now. I don't know why it's level 98. I thought I leveled it up more. And we'll draw that one. And, um, yeah, so I'll feed it a rare candy and it should level, in theory, to level 100. Oh, level 133, never mind. I think, geez, that was a lot of attack. So they have very weird stats. Um, apparently you can use rare candies and it will just keep on leveling, but... If you level it up in like a battle or something and it gains a level, it will probably go back to level 100, I'm not entirely sure. But also, viewing its stats, 
you can see it's got very a very weird kind of distribution of it so um incredibly high attack terrible defense kind of mess speed not the not the best considering it's level 133 now and 42 special and it also knows water gun twice which is kind of weird but it actually works, so you can have two water guns, so essentially you can have a move with 50 PP, but it takes up two slots. Um, so yeah, after viewing its stats, if we get into a battle, uh, it kind of corrupts um, the sprites of things, so they'll look like a big glitchy mess. But I find that kind of fun, you know. Why not? Why not have a big glitchy mess of a Pokemon? I mean, this is basically about like trying to glitch the game as much as possible, and missing no is one of like the most famous glitches in it. So, and it's just fun to kind of see how the game kind of ticks, I guess, because it was never like the developer's intention for you to be able to encounter missing no, but it's became kind of popular, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a look at the sprites now. And it should... There you go. So now we've got a very glitched out trainer sprite. Oh god, Nido Queen, what have they done to you? <laughs> um, I wonder if we send in Missing No, will it actually be the same? Or will it be a different back sprite? After viewing its stats. Okay, it's a different back sprite, but it still works all the same. It's kind of trying to jumble what's already glitched, so it's a bit weird. Uh, we'll also have a look at Electrode, I guess. A very weird looking Electrode. So yeah. And um, finally, there's also another little thing that it does. Let's just fly to a Pokemon Center, because I mentioned how it corrupts the Hall of Fame, but it does it in very interesting ways, so you can get any number of Pokemon in the Hall of Fame with different names, different sprites. Oh jeez, I'm poisoned, I might have to heal actually. Oh jeez, didn't realize. But then that's a poison type, so, you know. I think it's poison bug actually. Um, right, so we'll just heal that. Um, so if we go to the Hall of Fame data, and this is after you complete the game, you'll suddenly see a very glitchy mess of Pokemon. Or at least I do. So type bird, which isn't even a real type, but it was going to be incorporated in the game, but, you know, it just wasn't for some reason. I think it's because they replaced it with the flying type, but I honestly don't know. Because having a bird type and a flying type, they're kind of similar. So yeah, you get some very weird Pokemon. Before I had, like, a very glitched out Caterpie, but now it's changed. So they also change with time, but they'll still be very much corrupted. <laughs> Especially that one, that's Pokemaniac type, which is definitely like a very glitchy type. Well, considering like it's a trainer class and it's level 252, yeah. You can also actually legitimately obtain a certain glitch Pokemon with the Pokemaniac type, but it is very volatile and um, it knows a move called Super Glitch. Um, that has some very awkward effects where it can like crush your game and it's just not very nice, I guess. I mean, it's fun to play around with, but like, you've just got to be careful with save data and everything. I'm getting a lot of very weird Pokemon that I've never seen before. A lot of them have the same type as Missing No, because Missing No is also a bird type. I think it's bird normal, but I don't know. But I think it's that. Jeez, we're getting loads of them. And then we're getting a glitched out Gengar as well. And 
By the way, I didn't have a Gengar on my team when I completed Hall of Fame. Um, and beat the champion and whatever. So yeah, this is kind of weird. I think... Was that Jinx's cry that just played? It sounded like it. And now we're getting some glitched out Tentacruel. A weird... Something in the Nido run family, I don't know what it is. It's either Nidorino or Nidorino. I don't know. That one just doesn't even have a cry or a level. Okay, now it does. Professor Oak! Why are you a type now? <laughs> weird glitched out Magnemite. A weird Dragoner. It's very weird. James Pokemon Enemy Venonat. <laughs> this is so weird. So yeah, um, it does actually change. I don't know why, but it does. So yeah. So those are some of uh, Missing No's effects. And um, unlike Apostrophe M, which is another glitch Pokemon that you can obtain, it doesn't actually crash, crash the game when trying to get it out of the PC. And it doesn't evolve either, so um, if you have an apostrophe M, which is basically a missing no, but slightly different, it knows slightly different moves, and um, yeah, it's just kind of, um, I wouldn't say more volatile, but um, I don't know really. Um, it's just kind of like the brother to missing no, in a way. And you can also legitimately obtain it, which I'll try to do. I'll need to go to uh, Viridian City? Yeah. Need to talk to the old man again. But, um, yeah, if you have no Pokemon data, basically, because talking to the old man resets that because your name gets replaced. Um, you can encounter all of these glitchy Pokemon, and you can try out different trainer names to see what ones you can get to come up. And I think there's also a guide on it as well. So you can have a look on the guide on, I think it's on Bulbapedia. Um, and you can get some weird Pokemon, you can get like Mewtwo's, you could get like a level 132 Mewtwo by using the letters DD or something, or is it like 156, I can't remember. But like, very high level Pokemon that you'd normally never be able to obtain, like in the wild, but... Yeah, it's kind of cool. I just went for something that would get me, like, glitchy Pokemon, like, using the MN symbol. And then I've got uh, ones that will always meet, mean I get missing now. But you can try a whole different range of symbols and characters in your name and see what kind of Pokemon you can get to pop up. But you need to remember to do the old man trick first to be able to fly to um, to be able to fly to Cinnabar Island because um, it's always done on the coast basically unless um, you do the ditto trick with a certain special stat because certain ones do equate to getting a missing no but uh, yeah There's Surf, there we go. Let's see if I can get an ap apostrophe M to pop up. And if I just get a Professor Oak, I guess I'll just reset and try again. Please don't be a pro Professor Oak. Oh, it's a Venonat. So it also shows up um, the last Pokemon we fought as well. I might have to reset actually, because it might just show loads of Venonats and stuff from that route. Hopefully it doesn't, but I don't know. I mean, we did talk to the old man. I don't know. If I can't get apostrophe M to show up, then... Oh, well. No, I'm just getting missing nose now. That's uh, level 128 missing nose, though. I don't think they learn anything past level 100, but I could be wrong. I think it's just normally a uh, glitch Pokemon. So yeah, that's kind of um, the effects of missing no and like how to catch it. So 
I'd normally recommend doing the old man glitch, but you can also um, do the ditto trick um, by uh, using trainer fly, which is um, encountering a long range trainer. And w when you're basically in his sights, you um, fly away from him and fly to any route. And if you have a certain special stat and you use a ditto or you just battle something with a certain special stat, you can get Missing No to appear. But that's kind of hard to get like that special stat, so I recommend just using the old man glitch and surfing along the east coast of Cinnabar Island. Um, because it's just, it's just more convenient, I guess, and um, you're always guaranteed to get Missing No because every single name I think, I don't know about the preset names, but if you make a customised name, um, you'll always get the end namespace, which is equivalent to a missing now. And, um, yeah, so this is basically a very quick way to get missing now. And if you don't care about your Hall of Fame data getting corrupted, then give it a try. Um, so yeah, this is one of the most famous glitches in Pokemon. Hope you enjoyed, feel free to comment, like, and maybe even subscribe. Thanks. Bye!